hey, right there. Good deal. Oh, ooh, 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 yeah. Here we go. First one, all right. Good deal. Yeah, on the crankbait. Think you wanted that? Yeah, you weren't going nowhere. That's a good one. Nice little buck. Nice little buck up shallow. Right in the lay down. Nice, on the square bill. Yeah, that's a way to start the morning. Good morning, guys. Another beautiful morning here on Green Lane. Just picked up a little buck. Right up here on the bed. Hooked him up on the old square bill. This is a six cent square bill. I think it's a six cent crush. Um, and it's got that day glow orange to it. Water's got a good stain to it. But they're up shallow. They're spawning. Water temps are running. It's double nickel right now. Let's see if we can get another one. It's going to be a great day. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, there we go, there's a mama. There's a mama. Right up in the wood. This is a good one. Oh, this is a good one. Yep. Hey, all right. Not a bad one. That's a nice one. Spawning up. Think she wanted it? <laughs> Woo! It yeah, got her good. She was really up shallow. That's a pretty one. It's on like Donkey Kong. Love it. Yeah, she was sitting up there nice and shallow. Right up, right up in between a bunch of these lay downs. That's good. That's real good. There's another one up there. I think because that water's so churned up, that day glow orange just. Ooh, felt like a bite. <laughs> that, uh, what was I saying? That water's so stained up that that day glow orange just really, I think they uh, home right in on that color. Especially when it gets real muddy like this. And I'm pretty shallow. I'm only, uh, oh Christ. I'm only, uh, I don't know, two foot, three foot. She was sitting way up there. I like this six cents uh, square bill, but one of the things I don't like, I have a couple of them and the, the bills don't really, for as much money as they cost, the bills don't really uh, last that long. 
I have quite a few that are broken. Let's see if we can find another fish. Stay tuned. Ooh. I tell you, you deflect off a rock, boy, it just stops your heart in a second. That thump. Whew. Uh oh. Catching sticks, catching sticks. Oh, big stick. Them geese are annoying. Ooh, that felt good. There we go. Hey, all right. Ooh, ooh. What do we got here? We got some power on this guy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's keep the tension on. Oh, lordy, 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 look at this. Oh, 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 oh. oh. my goodness. Oh, please stay pinned. Wow. Oh my. Come on. Come on. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Look at this. Oh. Looky, looky. Looky, looky. All right, let's get her unhooked. <laughs> Gotta love it. There's a nice one. Whew. What a beauty. Wow. One more look. Looky, looky. There we go. Gone. Square bill does it again. This day glow orange works pretty good in this stained up water. Just picked her up right up here. I think I'm in, I'm only like five foot of water. Wind picked up, got a little bit of a shower pass through. Made it a little chilly, I put the sweatshirt on. But uh, <laughs> that was a nice one. That was about a four. That was a nice fish. Wow, it's a good day. Spawn is on. Can never argue with a good day. Man, she had some power to her. She was fired up.
God, I love a good square bill bite. That bait's bouncing and hitting rocks, and all of a sudden it stops. And then, and then, and then you feel this weight, and then this head starts shaking. That one just whoosh, straight out the, ran straight out the deeper water. That was a strong fish for her size. Let's see if we can get another one, man. That'd be great. Got a good pattern going now. Definitely this uh, brighter orange on the belly just seems to really catch some attention in this stained water. I'm throwing this on a, uh, this is a Luz BB1 Pro, uh, 6 4 to 1. And I'm throwing it on 10 pound Abraze X fluorocarbon with a uh, Luz custom speed stick. square bill crankbait rod and uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite setups for, for throwing smaller square bills I think the rods about a six foot nine yeah six foot nine it's like a medium heavy power so I can even target some of the smaller lay downs and stuff if I want to but yeah, it, uh, it does the job Putting them in the boat today, that's for sure. I've had a lot of people uh, hit me up, uh, you know, and uh, ask me like, you know, oh, you, you really throw crankbaits. I, I don't feel confident in throwing crank, you know, crankbaits. Just gotta get out there. Once you get big, I, I mean, at one time I wasn't real confident. 2016, I came across a really good crankbait bite here. It was in the fall. Water was really low. We were actually in a drought. And uh, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I was really catching the heck out of them. Three pounders, four pounders, and that was it. And I was running, I think I was running probably 12 foot of water with that crankbait. And I just came across the school and they were fired up. It was one after another, that was a good day. And ever since then, I've just pushed harder and harder to throw crankbaits. And then got into the square bill bite. And as you can see, it does the job, especially in the spring when they're up spawning. Well, guys, that's a wrap. Good day today. I had to work for them a little bit, but they're up shallow. They're spawning. It's on like Donkey Kong. That big low orange in this stained water, that's like ringing the dinner bell. Well, as always, guys, Appreciate your comments, your likes, your views. Please share, subscribe, tell your friends. Get yourself a nice fancy crankbait. Nice little setup like this. Come out and catch some pigs. I'll talk to y'all later. Take care.